Hey everybody, welcome to Jay Stern Designs. Welcome to Quick Tip Tuesday. I feel like I haven't said that in such a long time. I was on vacation last week in Lake George with my family and I had an amazing time. It was really fun to just spend some quality time with my mom and dad and my sister and brother and her kids and family. Um, I was planning on showing you my adventure hiking video that I shot with my daughter Abby. We hiked up Thomas and Cap Mountain, but I started getting seasick editing my footage because I did a lot of holding my camera as I hiked and it was a little bit jiggly. So I'm gonna chalk that up as an experiment um, using my camera while I'm moving. And also I got to play with my f-stop a lot because it was shady, then it was sunny, then it was shady, then it was sunny. So not gonna share that with you because I don't wanna make you seasick. Instead, I'm gonna jump right in with um, some quick tips for um, bag making. And as you know, I took apart my hobo bag and I forgot to show you guys, it's a pattern that I designed and here's the actual pattern. And you can see from the cover that you can make it a lot of different ways. Um, I use felted wool sweaters or I use really cool um, prints. Um, one of the views has an in inverted pleat so you can have a pleated front or, and or back or not. Um, but anyways, this is what the pattern looks like and there's the particulars on the back. And if you remember, before I left for vacation, I had taken my bag apart. So I've already cut out my new lining and it occurred to me that there were a bunch of things I could tell you about linings and different ways to do things that might be helpful if you're making a bag from scratch or if you're making a new lining to fix one that needs a rehab. Um, so basically, the first thing I want to show you is this zipper, you know, have the little zippered pocket in the inside. I used a standard zipper, which is lovely, but I want to show you, I've cut out my pieces for my new zippered pocket, and I haven't sewn it yet, but what I wanted to point out to you is that you can actually use um, an invisible zipper. Instead of seeing the zipper teeth like you do with this zipper, you would see just colored twill tape and then you would have this nice little dingle for your opening. So that's one little tip. You know, if you don't have a standard zipper but you have an invisible zipper, maybe try using that because it just gives it a little bit, I think, a more polished look for your zippered pocket on the inside. Um, also, I've interfaced my main bag pieces. You can see I've got my, my black cotton fuse, fused to the wrong sides. And I also fused my um, gusset pieces. These are the pieces that sort of make the width match the outside of the bag. I have those all ready to go. Um, but when I went to cut out this piece, this is the top contrasting piece, you know, I figured it's kind of a hassle to cut that out nice and neat because there's a curve and it's just a little bit more fussy. So instead of cutting out fabric and interfacing, what I did was I cut out fabric um, and interfacing in a rectangle that I knew would fit. And now I can cut out this piece once through all the layers and not have to fuss with cutting out my lining, cutting out my interfacing, then fuss with fusing together the pieces. I know it's not rocket science, but sometimes when you're in the middle of a big project, you maybe don't think of these things. Okay, so I have also have my um, my snap that I'm going to put into this contrasting fabric. And if you look at my first one, I had bent these down flat. And when I took it apart, notice that the little ring actually bent up like that. So those are really mangled on the inside. I think what I'm going to do to help prevent that the next time is I'm actually going to put a piece of interfacing over the backs of these snaps after I put them through. And I'm also going to maybe put a little bit more heavy interfacing to stabilize the um, fabric underneath the snap. So I'll show you that before I actually do it. I just want to get these things sewn before I put the snap on. But I just thought it was interesting that that bent like that. Um, because I know when I put it in there initially, you know, it was laying flat like that. So to prevent that, I'm going to stick a piece of interfacing over it this time and see if maybe that helps. Another thing is I have this lovely sweater. I made this sweater piping and it's totally wrecked, so I have to replace it. And I looked, I don't have any more sweater that will go with this bag. So I'm going to pick out something 
that matches. Um, I haven't decided yet, but I'll probably use one of these batik fabrics, and I'll probably and I'll make piping to finish the edge, like I had before, because I really like the way that looked. Um, so I'll show you the piping on Thursday. Um, but anyway, so these are some tips for um, you know when you're working with lining and interfacing and funny shaped pieces and so on and so forth. The last tip I want to share with you today is the bag itself. I've turned it inside out. And you can see that, you know, I clipped these, um, I clipped the leather so it would lay flat after I sewed the lining to it. And I think what I'm going to do before I re-sew the lining to the bag is I'm going to use some of my silk organza um, salvages. And I'm actually going to use it like a stay tape and I'm going to stitch it along the edge. I'm going to close up these clips as much as I can and sort of try to get it back into shape so that the shape of my lining opening, the original lining, will fit. Because with all these clips and how they're open now, I might have a hard time getting this to fit, the shape. I like silk organza for stuff like that because it's so light it's not going to add any bulk to an already heavy seam that I'm going to have to sew. So those are my tips for today. Um, I'm actually shooting this on Sunday because my husband has a huge shoot on Monday and I didn't want to do this stuff last minute. Um, plus it's a million degrees, so I figured while it's still cool and while I still have my um, vacation feeling on, I thought I would shoot these things. I'll see you on Thursday with the lining put together and it'll be ready to put into the bag and I'll show you how I finished um, putting in the snaps and I'm sorry, the snap, one snap, and then I will sew the lining to the bag and finish that up. There's going to be some fussiness involved with finishing the bottom ends of these straps, so um, we'll deal with that on Thursday, but I hope you have a great week, and I hope you're staying cool if you're in a hot area like I'm in right now. So if you have any questions or comments about the bag tips, please post them on my blog at jsterndesigns, or you can post them below. And I'll see you Thursday. Have a great day.